Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are making a troll, finally. It's been so long since I promised this pattern. Actually, I designed them last year, posted them on Facebook, and promised this pattern, but I never actually got the chance to do it until just now, and it is spring 2018. Alright, so let's just jump right into the good stuff. He has a written pattern. You don't have to watch all the videos in this series. There's actually 14 videos for you, broken down into parts, and you can follow along with the written pattern if you are a beginner. And you can print this off on my blog for free. The link is in the description box below. I have the entire pattern written out for you. Yours is going to look a little bit different. This is just my copy that I use to make videos with. In that pattern, you're going to find a supplies list. It's going to tell you which yarn I used, what size hook I used, what size eyes I used, and all that good stuff. It's going to give you an abbreviation chart. It's also going to give you an in information, some important information about reading this pattern. So please read over that. My written pattern also has video links. So you can see here, nose, it says video here. You click on that word here, it'll bring you to the nose video. So whatever you get stuck on, I have help there for you. And if you're a beginner, you can follow the video right from beginning to the end. I show you how to stuff and shape them and how to sew them all together. In that written pattern, I also have listed a blunt end yarn needle. I don't know the exact size. I know it just has a nice big eyelet for yarn and it has a blunt end. You can also add a furry tail to the end of your troll, and this is made with just regular yarn. Same yarn I used for his hair, I used on his tail. And for that, I used a steel pet brush. And I show you how to do that in the video. All my trolls that you see pictured on my blog were made with Red Heart Comfort Yarn. It comes in this great big balls of yarn. That's my favorite yarn for amigurumi. You never run out of it. <laughs> and no, I'm not paid to say that. I just actually really do like their yarn. If you want to use a different uh, kind of yarn, go feel free to do that and you can also use a different size hook as well. To get the same size troll that I have pictured, about nine inches tall, about nine inches from foot to the top of his head, to get the same size troll then you'll want to use a same size hook and the same weight yarn that I'm using. Alright guys, before we get started, one more thing, you can make the parts in any order that you would like before you assemble them, but you do need to make the nose first before you make the head. We sew the nose on to the head before we add the eyes. So if you're using safety eyes, very important to sew on the nose first. Alright guys, no more talking, let's just get started. Go grab that pattern and come on back and we'll make ourselves a troll. And remember to post your pictures on my Facebook page, Amigurumi Freely. I'd love to see you. Thanks so much for watching and have fun!